How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. We started our adventure last episode and tracked down Bogard, who's one of the Geminites. And he gives us a little bit of information regarding uh, Kate's necklace or pendant or whatever. And he also gave us the Metic, which will allow us to get through the cave that we were at a little earlier, uh, like, like at the very end of last episode. So let's do that. Keep in mind, just ask the girl to treat your wounds and you will just slowly get some HP back, which is really, really helpful, so make sure to do that. We also want to make sure we have like 150 gold for an upcoming weapon that we can get in a uh, in a little shop that'll be like right on our way after the, uh, can I not hurt you or something? Jeez, there you go, there you go. Uh, that'll be um, right outside the cave after we pass through it, so. Doing okay for money? We're at 100 right now. I think each of these guys just gives me maybe one or two. You give me... Yeah, you give me two. You give me two as well. Okay, so that's not too bad. All right, in we are. Ha ha. So, go to our menu, and we go to our item. And you've been using that A button this whole time, but if you equip an item like this, like the Matic, then that is your B button. Be very careful to not just randomly use your B button out of nowhere, because you will use up stuff that you don't want. But at the same time, just make sure that you have the right thing equipped. That's also how you use magic when we get magic, and it's also how you use uh, curing item and that sort of thing. So, I don't think the magic can be used to hurt anything, but I do not want to try that. We need magics for a good chunk of this game, so I don't want to have to, you know, uh, have to, to, to go into a dungeon where I don't have any or anything like that, so... Damn you. You guys take off a lot less now, thankfully. We, we got hit by one of them at level one. They took off like eight HP. It was ridiculous. Now they're taking off four. So, not really doing a whole good job of uh, avoiding them, mind you, but that's okay. Ooh, we got more candy. Candies are the potions, by the way, of the Mana games. I think it's really cute that, uh, that they are. I think this is one of those things where, like, the, the Mana stuff is so strong in this game, it being the first Mana game, that even if you didn't, like know this was a Seiken Densetsu game, playing Secret of Mana when you were younger, like, oh yeah, no, this this is definitely Final Fantasy Adventure 2. I wonder why they gave it a different name. But yeah, the Rabbites and the, a lot of the enemies, and, and oh, just, just so much of this screams the Mana series. I'm just gonna constantly bug you to heal <laughs> my wounds, Kate. I'm so sorry. I can't really do much. I could use my candies, but I mean, we won't have the girl forever, so we're, ah, oh, damn. We're about at the little shop, so I want to make sure I have 150 bucks. You can sell some candy, actually. I guess that wouldn't be the worst in the world, because there's the shop right here. I don't know how much the candy will get me. Uh, let's see. Where are you guys? Alright, well, mushrooms are really easy to kill, so those little impy guys, little <laughs> cute cat-faced moblin kind of characters. Uh... One more. If you clear the uh, screen full of enemies, like I did here, for example, you need to walk away a couple of uh, screens before they the enemies start coming back. But if you go and only kill, like, leave one there, you can come back and kill more enemies, but kind of very Legend of Zelda. 145 gold, so we should be fine. Uh, one and only battle axe for only... Oh, I can't sell anything to you? I do want it. Sorry, you don't have enough money. I know, but... There we go. Okay, a few times word there. Well, let's get rid of some candy. They'll give you two each, but that's okay. Oops, I don't want to buy. buy some, yeah, he's buy Maddox here, keys, all that, so. Could not buy Maddox before uh, visiting Bogard, because this is the first actual place that will allow you to, uh, to buy them. All right, there we go. We got enough. Let's buy that battle axe. Well, I guess we'll have to actually talk, re talk to him. It's swampy ahead. Be careful. Thanks, buddy. One and only battle. <laughs> Although it just says battle. They have a little logo. I love that. Thank you. Great. How about some items? Uh, no. You might be thinking, well, Phil, why don't you equip uh, the axe and then get rid of the sword? Well, that'd be dumb. Don't do that. Just like most mana games. Let's see, actually, how, how is this? Ooh, plus four. Attack power. Uh, you have a multiple amount of, of weapons, and each weapon can be used for different things. So there is a sword class item, or a weapon, and then there's an axe class weapon. Now we're in the swampy marshes, so we want to be really careful around here. But yeah, the axe, uh, axes are usually more powerful. They're usually the, like, the powerful kind of uh, weapon, but they're limited. They're very slow, as you can see. Ooh, level up, nice. Let's roll our dice. One. 
We got some stamina. I'm getting no power here. Stamina. There we go. At least that got me a little bit of power, but... means that attacking enemies is going to be rough for me. Uh, swords are usually really useful against a lot of different enemies, um, but they're usually not as powerful. But there's most... Can I kill you? No, I can't kill you. Uh, most of the weapons in the game are swords. There are six, I believe, different types of weapons in this game. Some of them, you just get the one and then you're done, but... They're usually useful throughout the game just because of what they can do. Right now, the axe doesn't seem really great and doesn't do anything, but later on it will be able to, like, say, chop down some trees, for example. The sword doesn't really get that type of extra uh, usability, so... Be careful, you guys. Nice range on the, uh, like, a nice wide swath with every uh, attack of the axe, which is nice. The range is not great, but neither is the sword, so... So where are we going? We are trying to find the town of Wendell. Basically, let's look at our map right quick. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not uh, too far. Basically, uh, Topple is that that right in the center uh, town we're in, so we kind of need to go down to the right. But I think we have to go over here. We do have to. <laughs> There's a little locked door uh, over by a cave that we can't get to, so this is the only place we can get to. So let's go in here. Ooh, the music seems scary, but it looks like look, 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 look at your stylish haircut. Welcome to Ketz. Rooms ahead are occupied. Please feel free to use the western room. You can't get past this door. It's for Mr. Lee. Well, okay. Is is Mr. Lee's first name Ket? Because this is Ket's house. I never understood that. Go up here. Got some people. Oh, a white mage from Final Fantasy. Crazy. Lizard men's nest is to the south. They have the key to open the Cave of Marsh. Now, if you do go there, uh, the lizard men are not there until you actually go here and get the story continuing, so. The mystic mirror reveals people's true colors. I heard that the man here threw it away in a cave. Thanks for the exposition, you two. I really help it. Uh, I'm really, really thankful for your help. Get out of my way, get out of my way. You just walk into enemy, or, uh, NPCs, they talk to you, so you want to avoid them. I'm just going to heal up. Just in case. Just in case. There we go. Get up here. I love how the, the other... The character who joins just wanders around hilariously. Kind of drunkenly, really. There we go. Let's go to sleep. Nope. <laughs> Threw my axe. Didn't mean to. It's just kind of there. <laughs> it's like I laid it down next to the bed. That's funny. Phil? What? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. I think you should be able to use cure magic. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, it should help. Read this. Receive the magic book of cure. You had the book of cure this entire time and you didn't give that to me? Anyways, so yeah, we got our first magical spell, so that's pretty good. Good night. Good night. Well, better than nothing. Now we finally can put our MP towards something. Ah, new victim. Kate, was that you? Nope. Oh, my axe is gone too, damn. Good m Huh? Kate is missing. That's it. You guys still max. <laughs> so now we don't have our free healing, which is why we have the healing magic, so. Do you say anything? Welcome to Ketz. Rooms ahead are occupied. Yep. Please feel free to use the western room. I know. I can't get past this door. It's for Mr. Lee. Okay. Your friend? No. I do not know her. You jerk. Alright, well, let's look around. We're pretty... Not like crazy strong or anything, but we're good enough that around here we should be fine. Oh, well now we're poisoned. If you're poisoned, it's set to a timer. Just go back and forth between screens like this. Yeah, there we go. And once the music goes back to normal, you're back to normal. I like that. It's pretty... I mean, they didn't mean for that to happen, but I like that. That's a little thing you can do. Uh, poison takes a lot of HP from you really quickly, so you do want to be very careful. Where did you go, jellyfish? There you are. Ah, damn you. Should probably get my magic equipped. There we go. Whoop. It's pretty decent. It takes two MP, so I don't have a lot of uses for it, but remember that your level ups also help, too. Yeah, I can't hurt you, so I'm gonna avoid you. I'm really scared you'll do a lot of damage. Up here is that. Yeah, cannot get in here. Locked! Oh no! That's okay. Perfectly fine. Careful with mud mans. Damn. Right near the entrances. There we go. So here is the lizard's den. Now, 
that's a lot of lizards in this area. If you want to, take some time and uh, level up here. As long as you don't kill... Oh, no, I'm going to leave you guys alone. If you don't kill all of them and you leave, they'll come back. Five... Like, they're not, like, crazy hard enemies here. Yeah, they shoot arrows, but they're not very good at aiming, apparently. So, you know, take a few seconds and do that. I'm going to get a level. Plus, it helps with magic. Or, not magic, um, gold. So, definitely want some money. Yeah, we got cure. We're getting cures, which is really good, too. So, I'm glad we're getting something. There we go. Lots of, uh, lots of gold. We're already at 144. But yeah, there are a good chunk of places where, uh, you can, uh, level up and, and kind of grind. Alright, what do we want? Four! We got will. We're never gonna get power. What we got here? More cure? Hey, that's fine by me. My MP's back, which is really nice. Actually, let's equip. My or not equip, sorry. Put on, uh... Cures. Ooh, each cure is two uses. I didn't know that. Nice. I always thought it was... Oh, wait, cure. So a full cure, not a candy. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Well, if I need to use it, I need to use it. There we go. And inside is a bronze key. And now we can get into that little cave. So avoid the mud men. I don't know if the sword can be used against it, but I don't want to deal with that, so... Locked. Oh, I have to equip it, don't I? Jeez. So silly. Bronze key. Yeah, if you use a regular key, uh, it won't work. It needs to be this bronze key. There we go. Oh, hello you. A red mage, it looks like. Can I get rid of this bronze key now? I don't know. I have to look that up. <laughs> uh, your friend is missing. Many girls have disappeared in that place. They must be kept in the caskets at the basement. Looking for the mirror? Do you want me to help? Uh, sure, I guess. There we go, he just... He is helping us now. Let's ask him, what does he say? Some walls may be broken with uh, the Morning Star or a mattock. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. These walls sound different when you hit them. Well, that's pretty cool to know, thank you. I would assume one's right here. Oh, he uses magic, very cool. Can't attack you guys. Does my sword work? I can go to the wrong menu. Nope. Alright. Good to know. So I can't attack those bubble guys. I'm gonna equip the Matic though. Because it looks like right here there'd be something. You can tell because you swing your sword, or axe, I guess. Bam! Make some noise. Ooh, got the skeletons. Ooh, damn. Holy crap. There we go. Nice. A lot of damage from these uh, skeletons. Careful. Enemies don't move around a whole lot, but it's very easy to get hit, I find, in this game. So where are we going? I don't even know. Let's hope we're going the right way. I know that there is a, a new item, a new weapon that we want in this place, so. But just being able to, ah, poison, damn, damn, damn. Ugh, that took a lot. Yeah, that drains you pretty quickly. Come here, there we go, Ooh, careful. Damn you, ooh boy, things, oops. So, so strongly. There we go. Yeah, our, our, our healing item, or healing magic does a lot. Feels, uh, heals up pretty much to full, which is really great. Yeah, you'll notice things hit like a truck in this game. You have to be really careful, because the numbers don't pop up like modern games or anything like that, so locked. All right. Good thing we have keys. If you didn't buy keys, you'd have to go back and grab them. There we go. Well, looks like a nothing door. Fantastic. Nothing room. But, oh, oh, something. Ooh, it found the iron shield. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Like I said before, the shields themselves do not give you um, extra, uh, extra defense. 
They allow you to block things better, though. So I can't get through here because of those weird kind of weeds up there. That's okay. I probably should have gone up from the entrance, not down. That's fine. Not like it's a long walk here. Plus, all the enemies that I've killed are basically already dead. Not in every room. Oh, and I didn't go up here yet. Ooh, we got some puzzles here. So, you move chests around, which is really cool. And then you have that switch down there. Bam. Down the stairs we go. Do I want to go here? Oh, there's a nice healing spring. Oh, awesome. Healing spirits are weird. They always kind of look like this. Uh, but you have to, like, face upwards from the bottom. It's very weird. Ooh, and I have my willpower is all filled up. With the axe, the full will meter will allow you to throw the axe out. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh, let's try to find a place where I can use it, because I can't kill the little blobby guys. Ah, damn, I got hit. That's okay. Oh, here. Whee! Pretty neat. It's not like I need to have to go pick it up, so I just, you know, reappears right in my hand, so... Yeah, don't just attack willy-nilly if you're, you know, there's no enemies around. You might as well let that will uh, bar fill up. Plus, you can tell it's, it's filling up much, much faster now, so... Boink. Staircase. Oh, we're outside. Very cool. I like how you go outside a lot like this. It's really neat. Makes the world feel a, li a little uh, rugged, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty cool like that. Ooh, level up. Roll my dice. Two! We finally got power! Thank goodness. We're gonna have a very well-rounded... I guess, I mean, we are rolling a dice and thus, uh, you know, everything's gonna be kind of averaged out, I guess. So, we'll have a very averaged out character. It's okay by me. Here is where uh, the mysterious man, I guess I just call it Red Mage, uh, his advice really comes in, in handy. You tell right down here, there is a wall. Well, obviously there's a wall, but you know what I mean. There's a secret in the wall. Let's equip our medic. Bam! Thank you. And in here, we will get the sickle, our third weapon. Very nice. I don't know if the sickle is as powerful. Oh, it is. A little bit more powerful. Nice. But the best part is, is it will destroy these weeds. Now, these icy blocks... No matter how you step on them, they will always send you in a specific direction. So you need to use the sickle to get out, for example. Now, hopefully the sickle... I love, first of all, it attacks all around me. I like that a lot. Um, but hopefully you can take out those um, slimy, goopy balls. They're no fun. The um, fully charged... Ah, damn, 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 damn. Fully charged will version of the uh, sickle, I think it's just a wider radius. Nothing crazy, but there we go. Jeez, get away from me, man. <laughs> uh, let's get... Might as well actually equip our magic, seeing how we're able to uh, fill it up when we go to that little spring. Nice. We're doing good for levels. Levels don't take a ridiculous amount of time in this game, which is really nice. You, you always feel like you're growing a little bit. Plus, I mean... It helps that it, uh, you know, full, fills up your uh, HP and MP, so it's just nice to kind of have that, like, in, in cavern, or in dungeon in, you know what I mean? Alright, kill the blobbies. Oh, I have to redo the matic? Damn, that sucks. Oh, I still can't kill the blobbies. Alright, that sucks. We're matic equipped again. Lame. Get the blobbies out of the way. There we go. Over here real quick. Oh, no, it's a lot. Wow, all the things... I guess it's because we went outside. So I guess we won't cure up. That's okay. Poison, just left and right. Just keep doing it. There we go. Just be very careful. It's nice that this goes all the way around, but the range is actually not really good. It's just one tile around you, while the sword and the uh, axe is a couple tiles, so. Oof. Come here, you little anemone kind of blobby guys. are very cute. Probably get my curing on, just in case. Okay. 
At least sometimes it pushes away enemies, like the skeleton, for example. I'm the type of person who likes to kill all the enemies in every room. I know some people don't like to do that. Ooh, that was close. I almost lost it all there. I should have gotten that treasure chest. That's okay. We just want to get away from that poison damage. There we go. Whew. We're near the end, though. We're, like, right there. And we'll need another Matic to destroy, I believe we do anyways, to destroy this uh, rock. Yep. Down we go. Ooh, this is a cool area. Look at this. Climbing around. <laughs> Are you okay up there, buddy? You look kind of stuck. That's okay. And of course, there's enemies here, too. Of course there are. Ooh, doing good. Ah, okay, good. And... Still alright? Oh, that's just... Ah, damn. I'm gonna go. You don't have a lot of maneuverability in an area like this, because you can just go left and right, so you want to be really careful. And in here... Let's get our... Magic going. I think we're near the end of this area. Ooh, nice. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, a magic! Hey, thank you! So I'm just gonna double check around here, just to see if there's anything. Okay, nope. I love when you destroy the treasure chests. Ah, crap. Watch out for the blobs. Can I kill these? No. Like... Oh, he can, though. Come on, buddy. Aim. Aim better. There we go. Level up. Wow, lots of levels. Roll. Four. Another will. That's okay. Her <laughs> wheel is the best thing we have that is not good. Oh, locked. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's no, not equipped. Uh, I got candy. I guess I can put that. It takes up a lot of space in my friggin' inventory. For a one-use curing item. Alright, what do we do here? Okay, I didn't do much. Oh, I'm stuck here. I'm, uh, I move, Blobby. Help me out, red mage guy. Actually, I bet I could probably here and use a Matic. That's what I'm supposed to do. There we go. Found another Matic. Thank you. All right, we're, at least we're getting a lot of these because we need these right here as well. Bam, there we go. Oh, here we go. Now, this is where I definitely want to make sure I have my Cure Spell on. And I want my Sickle on, which is good. And let's go in there and take out the, I don't know, Sea Serpent? Pfft, Hydra? That would make sense. And thankfully, my uh, new shield seems to be uh, able to uh, take care of his fireballs pretty well. I'm just going to stay up here a little bit. And then kind of go in there when he gets near. Yeah, your fire doesn't do very much, unfortunately, bud. We really have to hit you, like, straight on. That's okay. Come get me. Back off. Damn. Make sure to face him, because you want that shield to take care of his, uh, fireballs. Now, obviously, if you're attacking, then your shield is put away while well, that happens, so. Using up that magic, all right. Nice guy, some good hits there. Come on, buddy. There we go! We did it! Woo! Oh, we got some two treasure chests found. The magic book of fire. Learn fire. That's awesome. And the other thing is the mirror. Show it to the guy at Ketz. He'll scream and show his true colors. Bye! Wow, he just straight up disappears. Oh, and so did I. Warped out. Well, that's pretty cool. We did a lot today. We got our girlfriend kidnapped. We found a mysterious man who disappeared. Creepily. We found a mirror. We got two magical spells. And we got two extra weapons. And our will bar is going crazy fast. And let's just see what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Well, with that, I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.